Seeing the tide of people extending in front of her as far as she can see, Mary Ellen faces the possibility of the greatest challenge of her life returning to the ashram against the current through a monstrous crowd in insufferable heat. I just started walking, and I never stopped. I, ne I don't think I took a breath. I don't think I took a drink. I'm not sure. I think I found a place that had some warm 7-Up that I bought or something like that. And somehow, like, I just knew where to go. Like, oh, there's a lumber yard. Oh, I remember we walked through a lumber yard. And I walked through the lumber yard. And I was just noticing things that I recognized as I went. Took a couple of false starts. And I just, I just motored and I just walked the 14 kilometers and it was getting hot. And I got closer and closer and closer. And at a certain point, my mobile phone went off and it was Swamiji asking if I was okay. He was concerned about me. And I said, yeah, I'm almost there, I'm walking, you know? And I, and I, and I, uh, and I did it, I, I, I got back just before lunch and I had massive blisters on the bottom of my feet because I just, I, I think I probably had sand in my sandals, but I, I was just, I was just so motoring, I didn't even notice. And, uh, and I got back and everything in the ashram was really normal and they were serving lunch. Oh yeah, lunch is almost ready and everybody was like casual. But I felt like a completely different person. I was a different person than the person that had left that morning. Only I knew it and only I could probably see it. But I was not the same person and I knew my life would never be the same because I'd overcome something, you know, really big. And I was talking to a, a woman there about what had happened. And I said, I don't know why Swamiji didn't give me the VIP pass. And then all of a sudden we both knew, you know, he's a spiritual leader. He, he knows, what, you know, like he knows things we just, we just don't know. And somehow he knew not to give me that pass. That it's not impossible to explain these things, but I do think that he knew that without it, I, I might have to have an experience.